just happened? Here we are. Go on. Try out some of the new features. Okay. Uh. What? What if I go get another bucket? Um. Do I. Do I dare go back to the hole? Button that says Jim. Everything is kind of. Is that door open up there? Uh, that door's still closed. Do I dare go back to the hole? Dude, what a fucking. What a show. What a damn. The exit's over there. Ah, uh, oh, damn. Should I? Let me just see. No! <laughs> Alright, well, we can't go back to the fucking hole. Or we damn just go nuts. We lose it. We lose our perception on time space. We lose ourself. We lose fucking everything. Our whole mental capacity is flipped upside down. It's nuts. Well, the only other thing I can do is, uh, is leave. Yep, that was, uh, that was pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Stanley Parabu 2. All right. Have you seen everything you wanted to? Ready yep. to move on now? Yep. Ready to go. Ready to skedaddle. Ready to, to get the hell out of here. Ready to fucking go. No screenshots. What we got? So, Stanley, what do you think? I like Do you it. like I've, all of the new I, features? I, I, I yes, I know it's not exactly clear yet how exactly these features will come together as one single coherent video game, but I can feel it in my soul. It's going to work. What There's is this? There's definitely a good game in there somewhere. Say, let's do an experiment. I'll arrange these new features together, and we'll see. see whether or not it coheres into a meaningful gameplay experience. I, I, hit me with it. <laughs> hit me. Would it? Okay. Are you ready? Golden. Here it is. I give you the Stanley Parable 2. What the fuck is this? Um, well, um, I mean, there's potential here, right? It's sort of... <laughs> what okay, the fuck is mind. this? Hold on. Let me do a different arrangement. Okay, yes. Yes, this is much better. I feel good about it. All right. Here we go. All right, come on, Version come on, come on. Two. Bang. What? What the fuck Who am I kidding, Stanley? This isn't a coherent video game at all. It's a lot of gags. And I do very much enjoy creating gags, but they oh, don't the add up to anything. Oh. I wanted more than anything to create a sequel that would capture all the magic of the first game. I wanted fans to love it. No matter how good these gags are, they won't stand on their own. They would need the structure and the gameplay of the original. Wait, maybe that's it. I can take the original Stanley Parable and simply, oh. well, insert a few of my new features into it. That's this exactly what he did. With respect. That's exactly what he did. With care for the vision and integrity of the original game. Would it possibly work? I suppose it could. But it would need a really, really tremendous title screen. A title screen that says with bold and uncompromising conviction, this is the Stanley Parable 2. Let me see if I can whip something up. Let me guess. All right, perfect. The ultimate deluxe. Take a look. Oh, the Stanley Parable 2. Oh, this intro is kind of, uh... Yo! Everything is different. Everything is different! Everything is different! Not really, everything's kind of the same. Uh, E, control, auto walk, yeah, yeah. It's looking good. Alright. And with that, we end up... This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. 
This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. That's all that matters, as long as you're happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Oh. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, the new call a meeting. Or what are we say, doing? What are we doing? Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Alright, I guess we are just, uh... Just getting right into it. Welcome to the new and improved Stanley Payable 2! All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Whoa! Stanley picked up the bucket. Yeah! Alright, this makes this game fucking worth it. We got the bucket, dude. We got the fucking bucket. I'm feeling good about myself. My coworkers turned into fucking balloons. But I got my damn bucket. I am feeling delectable. Stanley clutched the bucket tightly to his chest <laughs> and entered the door on his left. Oh. Now, you know what? You know what? I have, I have my bucket. Let's see where this, where this takes us. I wanted to go right for so long. I meant, I meant left. I wanted to go left for so long. Still, no one was here. I just Stanley never needed ended the up bucket's going. warmth and comfort now more than ever. <laughs> Perhaps his boss's office was where he'd find answers. Where are they? Where's my boss? I have my bucket. Oh my god! The oh, broom Stanley. closet. Can you feel it? I feel the it. The broom closet. It wants the bucket. No! You can feel that, can't you? The aura of jealousy? It's as clear as day. This broom closet believes it deserves the Fuck bucket. Fuck you, broom closet. I can really feel it now. It's a bucket. It belongs in a broom closet. That's what the broom closet is trying Fuck to you, say. Fuck you, broom it's closet. To go with the other cleaning supplies. Good for you, Stanley. Don't give in. Don't hand over the bucket. This is my I know bucket. how hard it must be. Coming to a staircase, my Stanley bucket. and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. This is my damn bucket. That broom closet can suck it. I have... Is that the bathroom? Oh! Money in the morning. Money in the evening. Money for breakfast. Mo oh! You found one of them. One of the miniature Stanley figurines. Remember... No reward for collecting all of these, only the intrinsic pleasure of a job well done. You can't buy that sort of happiness, Stanley. God knows I've tried. So, I implore you to savor each and every moment you come across one of these beautiful figurines. <laughs> yeah! Yes, sir! I got, I got a damn figurine. Is that outside? Oh my god. Money! Good shit! Maybe I should go downstairs then, if that's the case. I should go check out, uh, downstairs for more. Oh, I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. I knew it. I fucking. Another oh, miniature Stanley figurine. This, um, you know, there really must be a snappier name for these things. What about mini stands? Mini Stanley stands. Things. I love it. Um, what about Stanlerines? I yes, don't like that. I think I like that. No. Another Stanlerine under no. your belt. That sounds sounds fucked up. So should I go exploring? Or should I continue? Because now I feel like I gotta go. Now I feel like I gotta go to different fucking places. Alright, fuck it. We'll, uh, we'll continue. We'll continue. We're in here. We got this Stanlerine. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. 
Oh my God, Crushed really by humans. the weight of this revelation, Stanley may have broken down into an emotional dumpster fire oh if not God. for the soothing presence of the bucket. Even Thank now, you, Bucket. In his darkest of hours, kept me did the insane. bucket's warmth and guiding light pierce the dark clouds of confusion and chaos? It would be with him always. The bucket you, would. You keep and me he knew it. The two of them were inseparable. I love At my this bucket. point, Stanley was so absorbed in the tender spiritual connection he shared with the bucket that he didn't notice the keypad behind the boss's desk. I Nor love in his my bliss bucket. of simply being near the bucket did he have any notion that the pin number for the keypad was 2845. I love you, bucket, more than anything in the world. My bucket. Oh my god, where is this? Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2-8. But Stanley guessed the correct code by Oh sheer luck. my goodness! Was it the bucket knew all along? The bucket was, the was bucket telling me! Him? Yes, this is certainly the most logical explanation. The bucket tells me things. It tells me. What do you want me to do, bucket? You want me to kill them all? Kill them all! I must do it! For the bucket! Oh! Okay, I'm going back to the name of these little Stanley figurines, and now I'm torn between Stanlerines and Figlies. What do you think, Stanley? <laughs> I like Figlies. What name better encapsulates the intrinsic sense of happiness that you get from seeing a small number in the corner of your screen go up by one? Let Figlies. me sit on it. I'm Figlies. sure it will come to me. Figlies. I need two more. Two more damn Figlies. Oh. Oh. Don't worry, Bucket. I will do as you command. I will listen. The elevator raced downward, plummeting towards an unknown fate. It would be all Stanley could do to keep himself together, if Wait, not for the Bucket. Soothing him, comforting him, uh. reassuring that in this darkest moment of uncertainty, he would be all right. The Bucket is here for you, Stanley. Everything will be fine. As long as I have this bucket, nothing can hurt me. Oh. What if I go back up? Oh. What if I, uh... Fuck this. I... Wait, Stanley said to the Bucket. Can we go back up? When I was pressing those keypad buttons, there was something very intriguing about the number three. There was. I want to go back I, so I, I can try pressing the number three again. The Bucket said nothing. No! What does number three do? What is that? Wait. Am I about to find something? Here we are, said Stanley. Now I'm going to try out that number three button. He took the bucket over to the keypad and began <laughs> absolutely slamming on the number three over bam, bam, and bam, over bam, and bam, over. Bam, bam. Well, he said, the number three is such a special button, I'm having the time of my life. Stanley looked expectantly at the bucket, but the bucket remained silent. This was a shock to Stanley who had always felt such a connection with the bucket. How was this not as exciting to the bucket as it was to him? Once Stanley had had <laughs> enough of the number three, he got back in the elevator. All right, I didn't even realize that I had such an intriguing, uh, an intriguing investment to the number three, but we did, and I, I think I got it out of my system. So onward. Perhaps the bucket had missed something. Perhaps it had not seen how much joy Stanley got from slamming the number three repeatedly. Bucket, we A hint of regret nagged in the back of Stanley's mind. Should he demonstrate the number three for the bucket again? No, oh, I don't want to. I, I really don't want to, but... But now my bucket wants to. And who am I to tell the bucket no? Who am I? Ran to the number three and began to wail on it like a musician on a beloved instrument, weaving a concerto of truth and passion. He wielded the number three like a fine artist would wield a paintbrush. He told stories through the number three, stories of his dreams and hopes and fears. And the whole time, he looked to his bucket for a reaction of some kind, anything to let him know that the bucket appreciated what he was doing. The bucket conveyed absolutely nothing at all only silence, crushed by a wave of dejection. 
Stanley returned to the elevator. I, 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 all right, we're continuing. The, clearly, the bucket doesn't give a fuck about my damn number three. Once Stanley and the bucket were so go, close. Yeah, whatever. They've always been there for one another. Why suddenly could the bucket not connect with this passion of Stanley's? The question caused Stanley to ruminate the whole way down the elevator. The bucket hates me. He knew that there must be a way to get through to the bucket, to communicate fully with his dear friend. Surely there was a solution, mustn't there be? All right, we good? We're golden. Okay. Fucking moving forward. Damn. Damn! Stanley and the bucket oh. walked straight ahead through the large door that read, Mind Control Facility. What do you want me to do, bucket? We're so close. Mind control facility. I'm also looking to collect the uh, the other figlies. Is what I'm looking for. Where am I gonna find them? I guess. I guess we'll go this way. All right, bucket. It's just me and you to the end of the dim. The lights rose oh. on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the Bucket both wondered oh to themselves. Oh my god, the Bucket's damn clueless. He's clueless too. He doesn't know. He has not the simplest idea in his head. Also, where are the figlies at, man? I need some more figlies. Play observation protocol. Oh my god, they're fucking... They're watching. They're damn looking at my body. The monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the Bucket in shock. No. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored uh, like guinea uh, pigs. The bucket uh, had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears. Oh my god, Stanley bucket! Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring okay, it bucket. that everything would be fine. Well, okay, bucket. Where's four two seven? No, I am right there. Four two seven. Yep, that's my office. Oh my goodness, bucket! What have we gotten ourselves into? What have we done? What kind of world? What a terrible, terrible place this Was is. Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Ooh. Had the bucket been told to do things it didn't wish to do? Ooh. What kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. You can hurt me. You can hurt my family. You can mind control me. But don't you dare no! hurt my bucket! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His don't own you dare life in someone bucket. else's control. Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At don't this you dare! Point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Not even you, narrator. I don't trust your ass. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy. Or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Oh my God. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against oh the world. They high-fived in a really cool way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Let's do this, bucket. Let's take him out. I love you. All right. What am I hitting? Bucket, what am I doing? Off? On? All right, bucket. Uh, we're free! Hello? Bucket? Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had oh. done it. Oh. Stanley and the bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. He no longer Freedom has our was head. now mere moments away. We're free. Excitedly, the two of them began the to discuss bucket. the kind of life they wanted to live once they stepped through this massive door. The bucket oh. wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. Oh, yeah. Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway oh. through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. That sounds terrible. True, it was a simple life they envisioned, but it was one they'd live together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and... Ah. Uh. 
What? Wait. Hey, the, what was happening? Uh, Why we the almost, door stopped? We almost got there. Was Stanley in the bucket not about to be freed? Help! An Help. unbearable silence filled the room, bucket. lingering in uncertainty. Until mean? finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. Ooh. Even the facility itself no. recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket. No. Needed the soothing warmth of the bucket. You can't have it. Go to any lengths not to part with the bucket. You, you no, can't have no. my bucket. Stanley can't leave no. this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. No. Not while this building has anything to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, they want at my least fucking he has the bucket. bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very they soon now, they took my fucking bucket. he was about to find out.